Valley Park shut down. The city will hold an emergency board of aldermen meeting tomorrow morning after closing City Hall and suspending city services today. The shutdown is a result of a failure to pass a budget. Fox 2's Jeff Bernthal reports on why there has been no agreement. Residents still have emergency services like police and fire, but things like trash pickup on hold, as well as other city services until a budget deal is reached. Residents frustrated over a temporary shutdown at City Hall. It is dark. The doors are locked. There's no one at home. The new budget started July 1st. Five votes were needed to pass the budget, and the mayor is ready to break a 4-4 tie. But not everyone is voting. We have not been able to reach that five votes because of absences, aldermen not showing up for meetings or abstaining. Elijah Braswell is one of the aldermen who opposes the proposed budget that was approved out of committee. He believes it does not provide adequate pay increases for city employees compared to the cost of inflation. We've had employees threaten to walk out if they don't receive uh, an adequate raise. And while not passing it has led to a shutdown, passing it would lead to worse results in the long term as we lose employees. Tuesday's emergency meeting will be via Zoom. The city attorney hopes the board is ready to vote because he says a lot of essential services are at stake. So if you want to show up and vote no, vote no. If you want to show up and vote yes, vote yes. But show up and vote. That's what you were voted in to do. Some believe the budget process should have started sooner. They're playing it really fast and really late. And if it's a budgeted issue, it should have been dealt with long before the deadline. Alderman Braswell plans on recommending the budget be sent back to committee quickly, where he hopes that the types of pay increases for employees he's looking for will be added. He says that will win over his support. Reporting from Valley Park, Jeff Bernthal, Fox 2 News.